OCD Awareness Week, what are 10 telltale signs that teachers and school staff can be on the lookout for to identify OCD in children? Number one is red or peeling hands because this could be indicating that they're sort of using hand sanitizer an awful lot and it's made their skin peel. Number two is unexpected anxiety attacks where something sort of freaks them out OCD related and they go into like an anxiety meltdown. Number three is avoiding desks or classrooms. Again, this could be due to contamination issues. Number four is leaving items in school. This could be that they don't want to contaminate the home by taking what they deem to be contaminated items home from school. Number five is keeping areas of their body covered, like their arms or their legs. Again, this could be due to contamination fears. Number six is slow school attendance, where they said their school attendance some suddenly plummets. That could be because they're avoiding school due to fears around um, OCD and being found out that they have OCD. And uh, number seven is arriving in school late. This could be because a compulsion has gone wrong or because they've been exhausted from compulsions the day before. This can result in them sort of lying in or needing to do some compulsions before coming to school. And number eight is not wearing the right school uniform. If you notice a child has got the wrong school uh, shoes on or maybe the wrong jumper, that could be again because something has gone wrong with the morning rituals and they've had to just rush out in the wrong item of uniform. But I just think better to turn up in the wrong item of uniform than not at all. Number nine is fleeing school unexpectedly. I mean, this can be a common one. If something sort of freaks them out OCD related, it's nothing unusual for them just to need to get from the area altogether and just get into the safety of their home. And finally, number 10 is avoiding school trips or any extra school curriculum activities. Again, this could be due to not wanting to sort of uh, be seen doing compulsions when they're out or maybe because their anxiety is peaked by that point and they just can't face doing anything after school. Hope this has helped. I'm now actually going to be offering mastermind classes and OCD workshops to help educate schools on ways that they can identify and support children with OCD in schools. It's something I'm really passionate about, hence why I'm now introducing these sort of things to help schools. If you're interested, either drop me a message on here or you can actually go to my website and contact me through my website and we can then book something in for your next inset day where we can sort of help raise awareness of childhood OCD.